question, but my last one is, the people who are being drawn down, the staffers who are leaving, are they flying out commercially, or is it that, that that's what the military is going in to do? Well, to, uh, take, to take them out. The, the military will be there to help affect uh, a uh, an orderly and a safe reduction uh, in our personnel. Uh, I do expect uh, that the military will help uh, with these relocation operations. But as we know, uh, Hamid, Karzai, Hamid Karzai International Airport does remain open. Commercial flights uh, continue to take off and land uh, at the airport. Uh, so the military is not the only way in uh, or out of the Afghanistan. The situation is such, though, that you don't think that these people are safe getting out of the country on a commercial flight? Is that uh, the situation is such that uh, this president prioritizes, above all else, the safety and security uh, of uh, Americans who are serving overseas. Uh, as I said, we have planned for any number of contingencies uh, with an eye towards the deter deteriorating uh, security situation. Uh, we have said uh, for uh, some time now that we have been gravely concerned uh, by developments. Uh, so uh, given the situation on the ground, this is a prudent step, a prudent reduction uh, in our civilian workforce. Yes, Christina. If you can't tell us how many people you think are, are leaving, can you give us like a percentage and, and just some kind of an idea of how big of a reduction this is of the footprint? Does this change the exit timeline at all for the overall U.S. withdrawal? Is that being expedited? And do you think you can get the number of SIVs out on these flights, even with the tempo picked up? Do you think you can get enough of them out by the time you still have the facilities and the capacity to do so? Uh, so uh, you're right, we aren't in a position to speak to numbers. Uh, what we are in a position to speak to are the functions uh, that uh, we intend uh, to uh, press forward with, uh, given our diplomatic presence on the ground uh, in Kabul. Uh, and so that includes engagement uh, with the government of Afghanistan, it includes engagement with the people of Afghanistan, specifically uh, our efforts to press forward with uh, diplomacy, security, uh, assistance, counterterrorism cooperation, consular services, including uh, the processing uh, of SIV applicants. So I'm sorry I'm not in a position to uh, detail numbers, but uh, those functions are what we're prioritizing and what we intend to carry forward with. What kinds of staff are leaving then? If those are the ones people to do that are staying, who's leaving? So staff who are leaving, staff involved in this reduction of civilian personnel, include, for example, those who may be able to perform functions uh, back, uh, well, elsewhere, uh, whether that's back here in the United States or elsewhere. Uh, it includes um, staff who may uh, not be uh, necessary to continue with those core functions. Uh, so we are taking a very close look at our staffing footprint, uh, arrayed against this set of priorities, knowing that um, we are committed to an enduring relationship with the people of Afghanistan, committed uh, to uh, uh, a diplomatic relationship uh, as well. And so we're taking a very close look and um, uh, we'll start that uh, reduction in civilian personnel in the coming days. Kylie. It's not different from what you did in April. You really it, it's, it, is, it is not different. Uh, you know, as, as we've said, this is, uh, we went on order departure uh, in April. Uh, we have undertaken uh, a uh, reduction in staffing uh, since then. We obviously haven't detailed numbers, but as we have said, uh, including in the context of SIV processing. Uh, we determined, for example, that there were people based at the embassy uh, who could have been based back here in the Washington, D.C. area uh, who could uh, help adjudicate the chief of mission level processing for uh, SIV applicants. Uh, now, what is true is that uh, we are going down uh, to um, a, a smaller uh, diplomatic presence uh, given the uh, security situation. But as you said, our overall status has not changed. Uh, we have been on order departure since April 27th. We've taken prudent measures uh, since then uh, to uh, reduce the size of our uh, footprint in Afghanistan with an eye towards the security environment. That's what we're doing here. Uh, yes, Carly. So 